Thanks a lot, Alan. That was really great. Appreciate it. And thanks for hosting. It's great to see all of you tonight. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the product and, and tell you a little bit about the problem in this space. If I talk to any mayor, any city manager, any finance director uh, in the country and ask them a basic question about their financial data, how much are you spending over the last five years on police services? The vast, vast majority, if not all of them, wouldn't be able to answer you. And in fact, to get the data, they'd have to call IT. That would be funny if it wasn't actually sad, if this isn't where millions and millions and actually billions of dollars are being spent in all of our communities. And the reason they'd have to call IT to get this data is because they're running an enterprise accounting system at the top of the market from the likes of Oracle, SAP, Microsoft, at the mid-market, Tyler Technologies or SunGuard, and at the, at the bottom of the market, a big fractured market. Uh, they're running accounting systems and other enterprise systems that were written on code from 30 years ago. And that means that just extracting the data is difficult. So if you have to make decisions on millions of dollars every week or every month or every day, you might want that data at your fingertips in order to make it. You need to communicate with it. You need to see trends. You need to do things like that. At the same time, if you're an elected official in a government, you might want to have this data at your fingertips so you can govern. And you're one step removed from people who are one step removed from the data. And if you're citizens, like many of the folks in this room, you're even further removed and you're in the dark. So, I do not see, there we go. Um, I'm going to click right here. This is our website. You can check it out. I'll, I'll click on the city of Palo Alto here, which happened to be our first customer, and I believe we are in Palo Alto. Um, Actually, East Palo Alto. East Palo Alto. They're not a customer uh, on the OpenGov platform, so you'll have to settle for the city of Palo Alto. Um, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, across the river. Great. What you're looking at here is all spending across the entire city of Palo Alto out of every fund broken down by departments. They have 13, 14 budget data, and I, I hope you can see somewhat. It's a little actually fuzzy on this screen. They have five years of historical actual financial data here. You can scroll the cursor over here, see what they're spending on their utilities, police, fire, whatever you want. You can start to drill down. What we have here is every division in the city. Could drill down further here, investigative services, you know, whatever you want. You can keep going here to the object level of the data in the city. <coughs> in here, you have a filter menu. This is the entire chart of accounts for the city of Palo Alto. You can blow out any fund, any department. You can also see it by account type. Here I could switch things up. I could look at account types. I think we're in field services. I'm actually even having trouble seeing this here. <laughs> within field services, within the police department, the city of Palo Alto, out of all their funds, we now have every, every account type. You can look at salaries and benefits. You can look at supplies and materials. I can drill into salaries and benefits <coughs> and see the composition of salaries and benefits, regular salaries. I can keep going down to the object level, give you six-year trend line across the city out of any fund, any sub-fund, any department, division, and slice and dice the data in, in any way. Um, this is a technology that hasn't existed before. Cities are getting really excited about it, and they're signing on to the OpenGov platform in a SaaS model uh, for an annual subscription. We're pricing this in a way that makes it affordable to just about every single municipality in the country. The market is enormous. Uh, there's 19,000 cities and towns, and then there's counties. There are special districts, 38,000 special districts, 3,000 counties. There's tens of thousands of state agencies. Gavin Newsom's office even came on the platform. Uh, and there's school districts, 12,000 of those. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. There's a lot more product in here, a lot more feature, uh, a lot larger feature set in here. But I thought I'd just show it off. You can see all this. This data is public for the city of Palo Alto. And actually, at this point, there's probably 6 or 7% of the cities in California are already on the platform. So you can check out what cities you want to. Uh, 
right at opengov.com. You can go to the customers page and visit links, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Thank for thank you for having me. Yes, please. So how do you charge? You charge the municipalities or the government bodies? How do you charge? How do you charge? You charge the municipalities or the government bodies? Uh, second question first. Yes, we charge the governments to they subscribe on an annual basis, and it's uh, it, it ranges according to their budget size. It also ranges according to the products. We have a current year reporting tool which shows you not just the annual data, but you can see monthly data. Actually, as 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 much data as they want to update. Yes. <coughs> Especially for benefits and everything else. Yeah. I, I, far more that you'd have to live in the United States wants to see that. Uh, it was, I think it was a comment that said it would be more useful uh, uh, rather than let the government see where they're spending their money. Yeah, that too, but the people want to see it. Yeah. Um, I, maybe I misspoke, but I, I thought I addressed that. This is entirely public. You're looking at real time all the spending for the city of Palo Alto. So, would, would it, let's say I pay if I was a uh, city of Palo Alto to see it? You show it. Uh, maybe I'm not being clear here. Any person in this room could go on their tablet, their laptop right now. It's not mobile optimized. They could visit paloalto.opengov.com, and they could see all the spending across the entire city what out of any fund. Palo Alto doesn't have a tablet, and they're poor. Then what do they do? Well, 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 Get the data. We, we have, we have All right, guys, settle down. We, uh, we had a question here. It was, how do you get the data? Um, we, we typically work with the finance director, the CFO, the city manager's office, and they send us their data. It's an extract from their accounting system. We are not actually integrating with their accounting system. Most governments are not like hedge funds. They don't record how they're doing on an hourly or daily basis. They actually close their books physically at the end of the month. So for most governments, the most reporting they'll need is on a monthly basis, 12 times a year. Yes, please. Can you, one of the sections that you showed showed some of the categories um, that was early on. I think it was like there's a second visual or a third visual. Can you show what some of those were? So those of us who can easily read them. Because I think that's really cool, the drill down that you offer. Sure. This is broken down here. I, I can't actually see anything on the screen. This is broken down by departments right here. You can drill into any department and see the division. You can change the breakdown here and drill it, drill down by account type. So salaries and benefits, all sorts of other things. You can go fund by fund. I would encourage you, I, I, you could literally spend hours on here pouring through the data and understanding how your government is organized. It's very educational. And, and just to be clear, it is entirely public. Virtually every government on the platform, and we've been growing very quickly, uh, our goal was to get 25 governments on the platform last year uh, to get this going, get the feedback loops going, and, and we're well over 50. Um, so uh, the vast majority of those are making all of their data public as a public service to their community. Yes? How do you differentiate from Junar? I thought Palo Alto was evaluating Junar as well. Yeah, so Palo Alto uses Junar. Junar is a, a company uh, in located in Palo Alto that does open data. So they have a data storage solution, you could call it a digital bookshelf, which will host all of your data, all of a, a government's data, like GIS data on manhole covers, or arbor count, or traffic, or crime, or other data sets. We work exclusively uh, with financial data. And we think that's, in many respects, the most important data, because it funds all the operations of a government. But it's also very complex data, in many ways more complex, because it needs to be structured to have meaning. When you spit out a, a 20,000 row Excel spreadsheet, it's really only useful for the folks at OpenGov, or these guys, or, or actually most of the folks in the room. But it's not particularly meaningful for a senior executive in a government, an elected mayor or city council member, or, or most of the public. Time for one last question, guys. In the back. We, one or two of the governments on the platform have said we're, we're not ready to make this uh, public and it's password protected for them. Um, it, we don't yet have ways to restrict like some data in this and, and, okay, and not. Like like well, actually, I mean, they, this is all the data in the accounting system and it typically drills all the way down to the object level. Um, you'd be surprised the differentiation uh, within governments and if they wanted to roll certain data up, um, this is their tool. We, we provide a SaaS platform and are not telling them which data they have to show or, or not.
All right, guys. That's unfortunately all the time we have. Um, but Zach will be around afterwards.